hi and welcome again. Welcome to BioAccelerator and uh, you've been with us, this is your second time. Y yes. Your second time. You can say I'm a glutton for punishment. Yes, you are. <laughs> How is it? How have you been? How has your comeback? My comeback's good. I can now go down the stairs without holding a hand oil and I can my mind's getting better because I can re remember so much more. Like before, my boss would have to tell me two or three times what to do. Now he just tells me once. Uh, one of the things we've really noticed in the past three months since treatment is that his short-term memory has gotten so much better. In the past, I would ask him, where did you go for lunch today? And he would think about it for several seconds, and sometimes he would say, I don't remember lunch. I don't remember where I ate. I don't remember who I ate with. Now I can ask him, where'd you go for lunch? He can tell me where he went, what he ate, who he ran into. So little things like that of just remembering his day have been huge. And like he was saying with his boss, he helps a guy mow for the county and he would text his boss several times a day, what roads am I supposed to mow? Where am I supposed to go? Now his boss says, I'll send him a text the night before, and he remembers all the next day of where he's supposed to go, which is huge to be able to remember your task throughout the day and just remember things that happened yesterday is kind of life-changing for him. So this has been, how has it been from the last time you were here? Like, I know the progress has been going, you've been seeing these details this coming, but from the last treatment, what other things were you able to to feel in your body, for example? Well, I think I, I walk faster and I, I walk more, more normal. Something I noticed whenever we were walking from our hotel to the medical facility, when I would walk next to him, I felt like I was going at a, a pretty slow pace. And I don't feel like I'm, you know, walking at a, a slow, labored pace now. I feel like it, I'm going at a very comfortable pace. So that's been, you know, a very noticeable difference. And, um, you know, I see him every day or close to every day. So I do notice a little bit of difference in his speech. But all of the girls here have said he speaks so much better. We can understand him so much clearer. So that's been a pretty exciting improvement also. I know you went to El Peñol this, uh, this trip. Can you tell us about it? When you look at it, you think it's nice steps up and really every step is different from the one before. So some are standing and some are standing all the way and some are tall, some are short, and some are wide and some are short, short but it's just, <clears throat> for me and the accent, it's just a challenge to go up every step and I, I, I think I kind of flew up the steps. I, I've always been able, able to go up steps well. It's the downhill that really bothers me. So since the accident, I couldn't hold on to, I couldn't go down the steps without yeah. holding on to, to a handrail, and I, I can now, which is big for me. It makes me feel like a man. When we were here three months ago, the rock at Guadalupe would not have been possible. Up maybe, down there's no way. Like Matt said, the steps are all uneven, unlevel, different sizes. I think he could have been able to go up them, but down would have been terrifying. So that was that was a, that was a big deal. Not only getting to the top, but completing and it coming back down. I would have had a problem because there was a hand wrap down every, everywhere, so it would have been. A a problem. Yeah, it would have been, I would say, impossible three months ago. We made it 740 steps. Easy peasy. You know, Matt likes to complete a challenge and he also likes to challenge others. So whenever we made it to the top, when we were up there, you know, we took in the view, it was breathtaking, and I told him, I really want to try to beat Brian Cage's record of under 15 minutes and he said oh my gosh. well get down there and do it again and I'll time you so he, she was going to take me when she left she, she, she goes down I had no idea the way down was so awful so halfway down I thought no I'm not doing this again I'll call him and tell him I'm out 
his phone didn't work up there, so I had no choice but <laughs> to do it all over again. And I made it in 12 minutes, so I was very excited about that. So for us, we both completed challenges. Going up and coming down. I, I, I really thought I could go up, but I didn't know about coming down. Yeah. Who challenged you? Zane. Next time we come, I hope we're both there so we can go up together. Together. Because he made up quite a ways, but he didn't get to the top. He needs to get to the top, so he, he feels mainly, but it's a great view up there. It's funny. I'm kind of planning a vacation here. I see you guys like family, so I want to come see my family. Yesterday, we had a little bit of that special um, life experiences. What did we do yesterday? Paragliding. I'm no one, but I was pretty happy to have my feet on the ground when I got back. I didn't know he had so much control. He let me drive for a second, so I was flying. Wimpy, wimpy, you would do it. So I, I, I get to do it. I can't believe he gets paid for that. <laughs> he gets to fly one, and they're really not hard, but he's on a vacation every day, and he gets paid for it. How did you see Medellin from up there? Tell us about that. I was looking at, after I got done, I was watching everyone, and a plane flew by, and the, everyone was higher than the plane. Much higher. So I'm serious. I took a picture of you. Just amazing. When I was looking at them after I picked myself up because I knew I was at high risk. Oh.